Hi, I'm Jessica, an e-learning specialist, and I'm here to talk about how to add a formula to an entire table in Excel. So, I have created a table over here, and of course, you can always create your formula and then drag down and all the way through your table pretty easy. I'm going to undo that with a control Z just because I want to show you something. If you use the dollar sign, you have created a static digit. So if I do that, it's going to stay in the B column only. And you'll notice this formula here is still B, but it's B4. So one more time, I'm going to do a static 3. Oops, we'll do a static 3. And now, when I pull it down, it's actually summing B3 to C4. So as you can see there. So there's a little hint for you. Using dynamic versus static uh, is, could be very helpful. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.